IJ Beauty and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I wash my hair from start to finish. Now, I know I already have a video on this already, but my routine has changed a bit because I've learned so much more in treating my natural hair and I love to share it with you. And starting off, my pre poo treatment has changed. I'll link below my updated pre poo treatment because I know that you could take a lot of helpful tips from that video. The pre poo treatment has really changed my hair. I know a lot of you have commented and told me that that video really helped you or also your pre pooing too and what you use to pre pull your hair and how it's really changed your hair for the better. If you watched my last hair video, you'll know that I did my hair like this and I kept it in for a week and I love protective styles because it's easy. I'm not manipulating my hair over and over again throughout the week. I did take the braids out on day four and I just wrapped my hair around like this into two buns and wore it like that for the remainder of the week. So like I said, today's wash day. So if you like to see how I wash my hair from start to finish, keep watching. Oh, what a day. In order to take the beads off my hair, I'm gonna use my rat tail comb and just use this front part and just snap the rubber band off. No, no, no. And you can see the rubber band right here. So I'm just gonna carefully snap this and then unwind the rubber band and loosen the rubber band so it unravels and then gently keep doing that until the rubber band is all gone. And as you can see, no hair came out with it because if you're really gentle, then you won't break your hair off. And then I'm just gonna unravel the rest of my hair and take the beads off. Now I'm gonna coat my hands with a little bit of jojoba oil. And doing this step helps prevent any breakage from unraveling my hair. I can tell that my hair is healthy because it's still soft and smooth and not dry or rough. And now that both cornrows are undone, I'm going to take down the rest of my hair. And now that all of my hair is out, I'm just gonna assess it so I can determine what type of oils I need to put in my pre-poo. So based off the assessment of my hair and scalp, I determined that I'm gonna use jojoba oil, castor oil, coconut oil, peppermint oil, and rosemary oil. Starting my pre-poo, I section my hair into four parts. I find that by doing this, it helps me apply my products better. Now I'm applying my moisture mix consisting of aloe vera juice and water to my hair. This gives a lot of moisture to my hair and allows for the oils to really penetrate through very well, making the pre-poo process more efficient. And when I apply the oils to my hair, I use this applicator bottle for easier application. And once the oils are on my scalp, I massage them in for one minute to help with scalp stimulation, which leads to hair growth. Then I pour more of the oil to the rest of my hair to help strengthen it. Then I twist the subsection and repeat this process all over my hair. Looking at my scalp and my new growth, I can really see the benefits of pre pulling already. Now I pour the remainder of the oil on my scalp and hair. Here's on my shed hair, and it's not a lot, which lets me know that I'm really retaining healthy hair. 
apply a shower cap to trap the heat in, making the pre-poo process more effective, and I sit under a hooded dryer for 30 minutes. After sitting under the hooded dryer for 30 minutes, I can already see that my hair is even more moisturized. Washing the oils out, my hair is still very soft. With shampooing my hair, I focus on cleansing my scalp the most. I'm using Design Essentials Almond and Avocado Shampoo. And this shampoo is very moisturizing and leaves my hair so soft. out of my hair it's very soft moisturized and still strong now to condition my hair I'm using the design essentials almond and avocado conditioner and I really like this conditioner a lot because I feel it penetrating my hair well and not just sitting on top of my hair also it really hydrates my curls and makes them pop Comb through my hair to help even out the conditioner and I repeat on the rest of my hair. And here's how my hair looks after I've applied the conditioner. After rinsing out the conditioner, I deep condition my hair and I'm using the Alicane Naturals Honey and Sage and it smells so good. I apply this on the whole section of my hair and I like to apply a generous amount of the deep conditioner too. hair growth, I apply castor oil on top of the deep conditioner. Then I put a shower cap on and sit under the hooded dryer for 30 minutes. And after 30 minutes, my hair is so soft, conditioned, radiant, hydrated, and moisturized. Doing this process every week has really helped me in my natural hair journey and maintaining healthy hair. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share. Bye!